Hello and welcome to the Friday of the 20th anniversary uh, Team BN Marathon. Uh, we're here with uh, Battle Network 3, both versions of Battle Network 3. And uh, the category, Alpha Omega. If you're familiar with BN3, you'll know this is a seven star run, and then we have to beat the final uh, powered up version of the final boss, Alpha. So uh, get strapped in, because we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. Here joining me today is the one, the only, Exkilios. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. Looking forward to this run. It's gonna be nice. And yeah, uh, also here we have Erithar. Are you are you gonna be sticking around, or are you just uh, saying hi? Uh, probably stick around for an hour, but I don't know a whole lot about the Alpha Omega route, to be fair. All good, all good. Uh, if uh, you were here yesterday, you will probably be aware of why the uh, T Terra J42, Taraj 42, is not with us today. He has taken a well-deserved rest. But uh, he also deserves a shout out for a lot of the work put into the Alpha Omega route. And we can just talk about it when we get there. Other than that, I think we should probably get started sometime soon. How's everyone feeling? Kilios? Feeling pretty good, pretty ready. All right. Erithar, would you mind giving us a countdown? All right. On go. Three. Two, one, go. So, Alpha Omega, seven stars. Have to do certain specific things to uh, get those seven stars. And we can explain what those are right now while we're doing the tutorial. The tutorial is a pretty standard one. It's still uh, in the, the vein of Battle Network 2 and 3. Oh my god, press the R button. Uh, the stars involve beating Alpha for the first time and seeing the credits. That's the first star. Second star is usually getting all 200 standard chips. BN3 was the first game to have different uh, classifications of chips. So we have standard chips, mega chips, giga chips. So 200 standard chips in the library. The third star should be usually getting all, how many is it? 85 mega chips? 86? I, I always forget exactly how many it is. And after that, we get a star for beating a certain powered up version of a boss later on in the post game. We get a, a star for a certain time trial sort of a scenario in the post game. And we get, after that, a star for program advances and beating all Omega Navis. Uh, and that's pretty much uh, it. Then we can go right back to uh, Castle Wily and face Alpha Omega. Uh, yeah. Anything to add to that, Kilios? Oh, I've already messed this up royally. No, it sounds like it's pretty much it for the yeah. most part. You might see us do some uh, new things and more interesting things in this run. But uh, you'll have to wait. A long time. Dude. Oh, uh, did you mess up the thing as well? Oh, I sure did. I know. Yeah. Tried to unmute myself. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't buster. All good. So yeah, other than that, uh, we have some slides to help us along. Uh, that were <laughs> completed very recently. And uh, we'll find out today if any there's anything super important missing the slides. Though I, I don't think uh, there should be anything too killer uh, that could possibly bring these runs to a halt. And yeah, actually, I see someone already mentioned... Uh, oh, where am I going? Someone already mentioned styles. A, a, a sort of interesting, sort of unfortunate thing about BN3 is that um, we need to, need to, need to get team style first. So people can maybe uh, take some bets about element, but the style is always going to be team. And if it isn't, we fix that. Reminder to save. <laughs> Reminder to save. 
Oh, I'm still playing this like it's the randomizer. Dude, I know, I know. So yeah, Kilius and I, as long as, as well as uh, some people you might see in chat, like Ultra Uberness, have uh, been doing BN3 randomizers recently, which are a lot of fun, but definitely get you in a different mindset <laughs> for BN3. Uh, not too great, Zenny. At the beginning here, we're looking to get uh, a certain a certain amount of Zenny uh, that I'm not getting for sure. So I'm gonna go buy the square HP memory first. Ah, oh, damn. Another thing about BN3 uh, that you will see a whole bunch is that um, we are pretty much running from everything. Uh, unlike BN2, the sneak run rates are based on... The sneak run and run rates are based on your base HP, not your level, since there is no level in this game. Um, come on, guy. And they made it so that you are... Oh, are you serious? Oh my god. I actually didn't even get 2000 Zenny. I'm stupid. Um, but yes, you will see us running from pretty much everything because the HP route just uh, works out nicely that way. And we can guarantee a first turn run from pretty much about everything. And also. you'll notice that isn't the case right here at the beginning. But after we get some of these HP memories, it'll be the case for the rest of the run. Pretty much, unless we forget an HP memory. I'd like to also point out too that Smog's running on vanilla while I'm running on Wii U VC. This is true, this is true. I am running on a GameCube player attachment running the Game Boy interface software, but it is the original uh, GBA cart. And Kilius is running on Wii U VC, meaning, do you want to explain what that means? Okay. He's a so, literal cheater. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. You might see it later, or rather, you know, like, immediately, that I will have access to some chips that you shouldn't have access to. This includes uh, some secret chips that were only event exclusive, such as Punk, uh, the Net Battle chip, which for me is Delta Ray, uh, Base GS, and as well as the four Miss Man chips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will... I saw... I was trying to decide what version I should play earlier this week. And even though I practiced on the Wii U VC version, I think uh, I saw enough sort of morbid curiosity during BN2 about the uh, the PVP chips. So I, I wanted to do this version just to show <laughs> what PVPing against yourself over and over looks like. Because it is something I've done in both of my previous Alpha Omega runs. How will Smog get the Mega Chips from White? Well, uh, I don't want to self-promote myself too hard, but if you go on my uh, Twitter, at SmogBN, I think, you will see that uh, I do have a GameCube set up here with a link cable with the GBA. It's pretty sick. Oh my god, my Zenny has been awful. So yeah, at the beginning of this game, we're pretty much doing basically the alpha, the, not the alpha, the uh, the any percent route. This is terrible, Zenny Kilios. I swear to God. Um. Oh my God. Did you already do the second mission? No, I'm about to do it now. Oh, okay. I was I was I was feeling bad there. I was like, oh no, not like this. Uh huh. Um. But yes, we're, we're doing basically the any percent route up until a very specific portion of the game, which is where we get our Zenny. Um, uh, to turn here. And that, there, there are basically, I would say four different portions of the Alpha Omega run. And you tell me if you feel the same. There's pre-gamble, Post-gamble, pre-collect, 
There's post collect. Yeah, still don't even have 2,000. And there is... Oh my god. Um, sort of like post serenade. Uh, the, the pre gamble part usually is going to look pretty much the same from now on until I'm sure the end of the day that this game is routed, this category, because it's pretty straightforward. It's basically any percent with a few little detours here and there. Uh, the two middle parts, which are when you get your Zenny and after you get Collect, are the parts that really have changed the most in recent times. Uh, okay, at least I can... I need at least 1,000 Zenny. This is really bad. Okay, there we go. Phew! Just enough. Uh, so yeah, you, there have been some changes more recently to the route, but uh... You will see when we get there, pretty much. Will we still have 20 plus minute attempts for Gamble to work? Um, I hope not. However, uh, we are going to be gambling a little bit more than you might have seen in the past. I don't want to say too much about it, but it is pretty funny. We're going to be having a lot of Zenny. Yeah, so for anyone who just tuned in, uh, I, SmogVN, am playing the white version, and Kilios is playing the blue version. So we, we get both versions here. For anyone who doesn't know what the differences are between the versions, uh, there are some more insignificant differences, like the fact that Blue has an extra boss, Mr. Famous's Navi Punk. Um, and then there are more significant differences to the route, uh, the first being that the shops have different contents in each game. Obviously, things like HP memories remain the same, and Navi customizer programs, I think, also probably remain the same. But uh, the chip shops, in particular, have different contents. This means that there are certain chips that Blue can just buy that White needs to grind for, or in our case, most likely Chip Trader for, and vice versa. Um, the other thing is that fixed, uh, like scripted encounters as part of the story, are also different. Uh, so for example, we do a few gauntlets for the N1 Grand Prix throughout the story, and uh, the encounters in those are different between versions. Usually, I think people agree that the white encounters are a little bit more difficult. Oh, I don't need that. Um, but for us, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Oops. Oh, Kilius is ahead of me. No, not like this. I got an encounter and that was all, that was the difference. Yeah, there's also the difference of Mistman and Bullman, which uh, isn't too huge of a difference. What do you think of Mistman versus Bullman, Kilios? I think both have their merits. I like the fact that Bullman can pierce. Mm -hmm. Makes it really nice as well. It's very convenient with all the pins that he summons if you're in like the back row and the enemy's all the way in the other back row. Mm -hmm. uh, Mistman is very awkward to use. You definitely want to maximize the damage you get with Mistman, so you want your enemies to basically be in the middle of their mm -hmm. rows so you can get the double hit. But I, I personally think Bullman is the better chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, which means that uh, I'm in luck. Because <laughs> I will get Bullman. Plantman V5 is a good chip. Anyone who's played uh, Battle Network 3 and uh, realized how good Plantman is will will feel comfortable during today's runs. Well, if you want to see some mini games for bug frag grinding, there is a chance that we might do it a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for yeah. one specific reason. So... I will say that in the past, because of the different ch uh, chips available in shops and certain PAs, the route for blue and white has been pretty different. 
Um, at this point, it is probably the closest it's ever been, I would say. But that being said, I don't really know the history of the various Alpha Omega routes too much. So right now we're just in the Flashman scenario. Our friends have gotten hypnotized. Oh, I forgot to watch the cutscene. You don't have to watch it either, Kilius, if you want to make this a race. Oh, I think you skipped it already as well. I think uh, Kilios has taken a little tiny bit of a break. He might be attending to something. I'll try not to go too fast. I believe he has returned. So yeah, here we are in the Flashman scenario. Friends got hypnotized, so we're uh, here at school at night. And we just happened to stumble upon a robbery. The gimmick of this dungeon is that we pretty much just need to go around the school turning on lights in certain classrooms, which will turn on the lights in their respective internet areas. And we have to find these blue mystery data that open the keys. It's not too much of a crazy gimmick, but then again, it is the first dungeon, so it makes sense. This is a good track as well. However, unfortunately, because of encounters, we don't usually get to hear the second portion, so it's a little sad. Is anyone going to give Mega Man bugs this run? We uh, will definitely be giving him bugs on purpose, however, we will not be getting bug style on purpose. Might get it accidentally. And if we do get it accidentally, we are also going to fix that. <laughs> but we will not be doing it on purpose. Unfortunately, you can only have one style in this game. BN2 is the one that you could have two styles in. Uh, so uh, we can only have one style at a time. And first it will be team because we need to get certain Navi chips. And second will be custom, ideally. Also, for anyone wondering, uh, oh my god, uh, how much Chip Trader you will be seeing today, the answer is a fair amount, but if everything goes to plan, uh, not too much. It'll be a lot of mashing A uh, after very carefully putting valuable chips in a safe location. Alright, I gotta trade over my chips now. Second.
Okay, that's it for now. Um, uh, seven and five. The thing you will notice is that I am being a filthy cheater and manipping. Did I get this right? I didn't get that right. I think I have to do one half turn. Didn't write it in my notes. Big sad. Here we are. So because we have to get team style first, we will be using some Navi chips right at the beginning. I don't know if I countered Flashman. I did, okay. Reminder to counter Kilius. I don't know if it's too late for you yet. Oh, it's too late, I missed it. I'm just gonna do an extra thing. Okay, sounds good. It's easier, it's easier yeah. to, <laughs> to yeah. reset and hope he works with me. Makes sense, makes sense. So yeah, that was the Flashman scenario. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. In any percent, you definitely, after a certain point, wanna try to maybe consider resetting at the beginning of the game to get good zenny because you can get that whole thing that we just did uh completed in like 15 minutes if you know what you're doing and you get good luck with the zenny at the beginning uh but you know obviously we're not going to be doing that for a marathon much less an alpha omega so uh here we are Right, let's uh, I was mashing. I forgot to take any chips here. Oh my god, Gutsman's gonna get me. Gutsman, please be merciful. And I'm dead. Well, you don't need to talk about that. What are you gonna do, Kilius? Are you gonna get him? Try my hardest. Alright, sounds good. You know, sometimes things just don't work out. Sometimes they just don't work out. This is true. <laughs> but yes, uh, all joking aside, uh, there are a couple fights in the game that we are we don't either have to win or lose. It's optional. It's optional. Is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, you know, 700 HP is a lot at this point in the game, so it's much faster to just lose. Uh, I gotta do this again for the swag. There we go. I went between Dex and Chisao. So yes, uh, a lot of blue mystery data, as you might expect, we are grabbing for library completion. But another important thing is that we grab a lot of blue mystery data purely for the fodder. <laughs> you might yeah. have uh, become acquainted with uh, chip trader fodder as an idea these uh, last couple of days, and it's equally as important here. So yeah, you can get a Gutsman fight from that ship, but it is much easier. Oh my god! I got a Scilab encounter. You're gonna get out the encounter and just warp. <laughs> yeah. You saw where that happened too, right? Yeah. That's so funny. That was just bad movement on my part. It's crazy. Yeah, basically.
I could only buy two Rock Cube Stars. Big sad. That's how bad my Zenny was. Um, I don't know that I have that many chips. No, apparently I do. Wow. Two more star chips. Yeah, it's fine. almost like I nipped these fights. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No! The Canada! I should have waited. Ah, you fool. Uh, this is a prime example of why Miss Man's bad, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he can be good. He can be a little, a little wacky. Shoutouts to Bullman for doing breaking damage. Oh my god, you're done already? Yeah, I, uh, I had Mist Man, and then I got a copy damage wide sword. Oh my goodness. That That's good. literally the Manip. Yeah, it's literally the Manip. It's all planned. Can I do this fast enough? Yes. So yeah, a thing you'll notice about these fights is they don't have a reward screen at the end, meaning that they don't actually count towards your style, uh, which helps us a bunch because we can just do whatever. Oh my God. This is a, a runner's thing, but uh, it's really funny how I think we're only on slide oh, nine. Shoot. And there's like about like 250. <laughs> yeah, there are in fact a lot of slides. I can't confirm. We're going to be going for a team style Kirtle, uh, mainly because we need to get the V4 chips. And then afterwards, we'll be going for custom for a bonus just to get a custom one, maybe. So there you might have noticed I did you use the Guts Punch chip at all? No, I haven't. Yeah. The Guts Punch chip is one of the chips that has a command, an input command code. Uh, it basically, for the base guns, Guts Punch one, it's just a, a classic Hadouken sort of input command if you're familiar with that. You hold A and then you have a little bit of time to press down, down right, right. So it's like a quarter circle. And, uh, and then it does a shooting fist instead of just a, a punch in front of you. Yeah, guts gut style is a really easy one to uh, end up with, and it's usually I find like a, a, the most common like first time play style to get. And I mentioned this before earlier in the week, but I always see heat guts for some reason. That seems like a really uh, common one when I ask people like, "Oh, do you remember what your like first style was?" I believe mine was Aqua Bug. Because I definitely didn't know how to... Uh... Oh, Bug is another common one if people don't read how uh... the Navi customizer works. I think my first one was Lek Shield. <laughs> oh. Of course you would get a Lek. Yeah. Helios going fast. Some other small differences you'll notice that aren't really too relevant to the speedrun, but do uh, make a personal difference in my opinion, is we have some slightly different overworld objects and colors in between the versions. So if I ever exclaim, oh, this feels so wrong, it's because I'm usually a blue player as well. So I'm not used to seeing some of the colors showcased in the white version. Reminder to save. 
Did you watch the uh, funky internet cutscene? Oh, no, I forgot about Wait, that. I one. got it. Don't worry. I, I assume you watched the uh, Parasol and Friends. No, I didn't. I forgot. I watched this. Or we're even now. We're even. We're All right, even. sounds good. Mm, this is bad. Bad draw. Oh, actually, pretty good at this point. Oh no, I skipped it! Oh my god, I'm so stupid. He is a force of heavy, I understand. Yeah, so, uh, as you uh, might have seen, oh, and I got an encounter on the way to you guys, big sad. Uh, we've been trying to showcase some funny cutscenes throughout the week. Because, you know, part of the spirit of this marathon is showcasing uh, the whole games. Uh, but as speedrunners, of course, we forget. <laughs> It's such a force of habit to to skip cutscenes. We'll try to remember the good ones. I swear, I swear. Don't worry, we definitely won't forget the ones that everyone wants to see. Certain specific legendary sounds in legendary cutscenes. I mean, especially, you know, uh, you might not be aware but there are slightly different kinds of cutscenes in the different Battle Network games. Uh, in BN1 and a bit of BN2, there was a... Uh, a type of cutscene that was like really quick. There was no fade in and fade out. And I'm like used to just holding the start button <laughs> all the time now because of BN1. BN3 mostly has the fade in, fade out cutscenes, which is nice. It, they they kept it mostly consistent. There's like maybe one, two examples at worst. All right. Shout out to the Navi Customizer. It was introduced in this game. It's got a few rules that we take more as suggestions. Uh, and if you don't follow these suggestions, some wacky stuff can happen to Mega Man. But uh, for the most part, if some of these wacky things happen to Mega Man, it's, it's on purpose. Because we can uh, use them to our advantage for sure to accomplish certain tasks. In this section, we just have to talk to all the animals and decks. Make sure to watch uh, the cutscene. Yes. I skipped that one. <laughs> I did forgot read, when. Did you read the Pandalore? Yeah, I did. I did. I okay, did. okay. I even added comedic effect by talking to the kid while he was doing it. <laughs> Leave me on. That's. It's not Geyser. <laughs> where, where is it? <laughs> Doesn't it say on the thing? Oh, maybe I didn't include. I, I went. I went the opposite way. Oh, someone doesn't know their their right and left. Don't worry, neither do I. I barely know the alphabet. Well, shout out to Chisao. Anyways, the animals have gone crazy. Oh 
already in zoo comps. Crazy. Look at this guy going fast. Oh no, don't worry. We're slowing down soon. <laughs> <laughs> you top decking it when you don't need it yeah crazy it's almost hard to not want to fight just to use it mm -hmm. been playing too much randomizers yeah so I believe we use a grand total of five unlockers in this game? Is that right? That sounds right, yeah. We get one from the old TV, we get one from the lotto codes, and then we buy three. It's that simple. So yeah, this is the zoo computer. Uh, this is the Beastman scenario, by the way, for anyone who is not aware. And uh, the whole gimmick here is that there are some Metar viruses in the overworld that are certain kinds of viruses. Like this first one I think is a mouse. And so it's like, how do we get rid of a mouse? We bring a cat. So we find these Mr. Progs that uh, sort of represent the, the solutions to the Metar problems. And that's pretty much it. We got some pretty wacky ones uh, a little bit later that I'm sure some people remember fondly or not so fondly if maybe you got stuck at that part but the other nice thing I guess about this is that uh, if you got stuck it was pretty much just trial and error and then you could see maybe some funny or not so funny uh, jokes I think they're all pretty funny some make sense and some are just funny Exactly. You ever been just so happy you explode? I, I also find that a lot of people, when they first maybe consider picking up uh, Battle Network 3, they have a few scenarios that they are really worried about. Uh, mainly, they wonder, hmm, will I ever be able to memorize the zoo computers? Uh, and then also, oh, will I ever be able to memorize which vines to burn during the plant man scenario? And the answer is, don't worry about it. Just a little bit of practice, maybe some nice maps, and you're good to go. We always get an encounter here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I do have to admit, BN6 did the scenario a little bit better. More, more interesting. However, I think uh, both games have really good music for the, these scenarios. And, uh, you know, I'm not complaining. Another interesting thing about the zoo comps is that uh, picking up these Mr. Progs and then having the Metars explode actually resets your step counter. So it works out nicely where we get very few encounters per computer. Uh, and it's just like a nice little thing that worked out. There are a few parts where we just barely get an encounter most of the time before we are able to pick up a prog. And, uh, you know, there's not much we can do about that. But uh, for the most part, it works out pretty nicely. So for example here, uh, you can pick up this prog first, go over to get this Navi customizer part, which is very important. It is in fact Sneak Run. And then we can pick this prog up on the way back, and our step counter remains fairly low the whole time. Ooh. 
Ooh, I skipped an encounter in Zoo Comp 3. The one at the very end. Oh, that's really good. I got that encounter. Yeah. That's usually like a, I don't know, I skip it maybe something similar to like one in eight times. It's yeah, not very yeah. common, but it's not like never seen. How many times do you reckon you've uh, skipped the banana encounter? Uh, never. <laughs> never? I've skipped it once. I don't think, I think I've skipped it once or twice, but yeah. it was I remember never very specifically, it was a whole one time. The Wii U version does give you base GS. It's a pretty good ship. Uh, not only it does it hit really hard, it is a breaking chip. And not only is it a breaking chip, it also uh, cancels iframes. So if your opponent is, is uh, in an iframe having state, now they aren't. <laughs> they they are still on. hit. Wait a sec. Oh, was it this one? Whoops. Oh, did you do it wrong? Oh, that's funny. I'm sorry I didn't include instructions. No, no, no it, I forgot about the first. anything. <sighs> it's okay. My fight will be faster. Trust me. Oh, maybe not. You're looking pretty fast there. All right. Still got to get, you know, lucky. Yes. Yeah, we're definitely, uh, you know. Doing Cyber Simon Says. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hate to see it. Thought long and hard about how I should handle this, and the... that's what I've come up with. Uh, I can't counter him there. Please don't just do your... Ah, uh, that might have been too early. Or too late, rather. No, I think that's fine. Kinda... Oh, no, I got it. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, Beastman has two kind of like completely opposite um, counter windows. And one thing we didn't say really quickly is uh, countering uh, an enemy in this game is something that was introduced and it gives you bug frags as opposed to full synchro, which it does in four, five, and six. Um, you know, full synchro, pretty good mechanic, pretty good mechanic, however, uh, being able to counter for bug frags just means that our bug frag grind, which is an inevitable occurrence, is uh, really good. It's really quite good, compared to other games especially. <sighs> I didn't get a reg up. Oh no! It's a reg up too, that's fine. This is the number trader, and we're probably going to be silent for a little bit.
Ah, shoot. Oh no! That's supposed to be Okay, so for anyone uh, wondering if we memorized all of those, the answer is yes. Right, Kilios? Oh, of course. Of course. There's never been one time where I haven't memorized them. Um, I, I, I know all of those numbers by heart, totally. Don't worry about it. And so here, uh, our our best friend Higsby has gotten us to do some of his dirty work for him. Except it actually helps us out a lot, so don't worry about it, Higsby. We're all good. In this part in Tamako's HP, we need to get... Oh, I didn't get the sub -mem. Oh, I'll get it after. Need to get a very specific chip, Wind Star. I will be a cheater and get it. You better believe it. I don't have that luxury, sorry, Chad. Yeah. Um, you'll, you'll see the difference in how uh, Smog gets 30 minutes on me. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Um, I put them in the B-coded ones, too. There we go. And we just need slot. And 29. Uh, not yet. Got a Navi customizer. I got the last one today, where I don't have to do any buster shots. Interesting. I didn't get the chip I was expecting, but this works. It's Bullman V4.
I'm assuming that still works. It does! Beautiful. Oh, oops. Need to do a little bug here. And I need to go back to armor comp and get the sub mem. Did you get it, Kilius? Sure did. Alright, good, good, good. It is important. I I even grabbed it early. <laughs> yeah. I think I might have saw uh, seen you do it. I don't know why my manip didn't work. Maybe I have my everything in the wrong spot. Highly likely. Yeah, mine didn't work out either. <laughs> Your manip? Yeah? Yeah. I understand, I understand. Oh, I didn't buy any untraps. That's unfortunate. Okay, we gotta remember during real life navvies. So gotta remember. Oh, there's so much I'm not remembering. Oh. It's okay, we're only uh, I didn't pull up a timer. Never mind, I don't know where we are. <laughs> we are fifty one minutes in basic basically. Oh, that's, this is a scary fight. This is only hour one. We're fine. Shoutouts to Incredibly Scary Fight in white, where you get a sortie 1, 2, and 3. Luckily, because of the lotto uh, trader, the number codes, we get some pretty good chips. Pretty good chips. Shoutouts to Rattan 1C, apparently being worth 100,000 zenny. Yeah, uh, Step Cross is a cool chip because for those that don't know, the chip damage value says 130, but it's pretty much 130 per slash. Um, and there are two slashes that go diagonally. So if you catch an enemy in the middle, uh, that is pretty much a... Let me grab this as well. If you catch an enemy in the middle, that is 130 times 2, meaning 260. Pretty good, pretty good. Good chip. A lot of damage. Uh, Yoko wasn't where the cancel button was. Forgot we don't have oh, beach. No to earn my brain Every, everything's just wrong right now. to earn yeah side gun is uh, definitely a very situational chip I would say I would go as far as to say a downgrade from cross gun what do you think Kilius yeah I would say so Crossgun is uh, a lot more useful in many situations. Yep. It's like a V-gun, but better. As I draw three side guns and <laughs> make use of them. Yep. I gotta remember, I gotta get on traps. Well, you don't need them. Dude, that is wrong. I do, actually. Nah, you don't always get the encounter. Ah, uh, that is true. That is true. You're right. You're right about that. So in this portion of the game, we are introduced to... Actually, no, we're not introduced to them. Oh, I didn't save. That's fine. I won't die to this fight. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Slimers, they got nothing on me.
Okay. Maybe they got a little bit on me. This, this is a good fight going on right there. Yeah, the blue fights are nicer. <laughs> uh, we're introduced to extra folders. We were technically introduced to them a little bit earlier, but here's where we're uh, forced to use them for the first time. So we just powered up our folder all nice, and uh, we can't use any of it. Also, these fights can game over you, so watch out. Extra folders are cool, though. Uh, extra folders actually fill out quite a bit of our library because even though we're not allowed to keep the chips and use them in any sort of folder that we like, they do get registered in our library. So any extra folder in the game, we pick it up at one point or another because uh, it registers chips in our library. It's pretty good. Here are my own traps. Oh, I could only buy four. I'm so poor in this game. Oh my god. What happened? Dude, I don't know. My, my zenny luck at the beginning was like, not good. <laughs> Hey, the sound defense. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs to Lightyear, uh, Shuria, Smelly McTroll, Moxie, and Embossed One. Hope I pronounced all of those all right. Enjoy your new uh, prod related emotes. Here's my spiky one, two, three fight, Kilios feel lucky I believe you're just gonna get triple ant or just lance a triple ant oh you, you sure did it <laughs> I dashed them all that's dash really attack Also, if for some reason you're ever missing a uh, hyper burst. Oh, oops. That, does, that hurts a lot. Spiky 3 hurts a lot. Don't get hit by Spiky 3. Uh, this folder has H burst, so, you know, don't panic. I'm pretty sure H burst is in the notes, though. I hope. Maybe. Yeah, this I folder hope. has Life Sword and H burst. I remember that. Okay. Ah, oh, that fight is so nice and blue with the elo ball and the high cannon and oh, the another one. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll just cry in the corner. Yes, so there is sort of a bit of a tournament arc at the beginning of this game, but it ends a little abruptly, but hey, that's what BN4 is for, right? Don't worry about it. I 
can't believe I get to do this fight. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry about it. Not about that. I got spreader plus 10 at least. So after these Yoka Gauntlets, we are thrust into the one, the only, everyone's favorite Navi, the Bubble Man scenario. What do you think about Bubble Man, Kilius? Uh, I have a lot of words for Bubble Man. I think a lot of people do. I think a lot of people do. Well, that's it. That's all I've, that's all I've got. Yeah, we'll you know? I, uh, I feel similarly, or I would, but I'm a filthy cheater, so I manip a lot of things uh, to do with Bubble Man. And that's how I live a happy life. For the most part. I have to buy Grass Stage here. Because my Bubble Brigade encounters are so much worse. Uh, uh, reminder to save before Bubble Brigade 1, just in case. Yes, correct. Um, I, will, I did get some extra encounters because of... Uh, I feel like running an ACDC 3. Yeah. <laughs> did you get, like, a uh, base GS or Mistman or anything? Yeah. Yeah, so those count, obviously, towards um, team style, so you should be good. What am I doing? I'm going to read my email. I really hope I do not get a lek at all. Literally any other style. Please, game. Please. No! Okay, this is fine, actually. I forgot to go to Dex's... I can go on the way back when I jack in at Yai's. Dexas? Yeah, because I gotta go to ACDC Square to buy Grass Stage. Grass yeah. Do I even have enough Zenny? No, I don't think... Zenny. <laughs> I think you're broke. I think I'm broke. Just grab the... Yeah, I'm My... gonna do the, the trick uh, to get the Zenny and Yoka. Oh, yeah, do that, too. I literally have zero zenny. <laughs> it's crazy. Actually, just disrespectful. That punch F. We reset those. It means I'm about to get a lot of Zenny now. As long as there is a mystery data that I can grab. And there literally isn't. So we reset that. Aren't you glad I taught you about I am this? glad. I am glad. Okay, there is one there. Let's just grab that one. <sighs> Crazy, man. Oh, what's this prediction that has started? 
I can't read it. Oh no. What oh. element will Kaleos get? Aha. If only I could predict. <laughs> yes, me too. What's what's your uh, style element preference in order from favorite to least favorite? Ah, well, my personal favorite. Yeah, oh, I went to ACDC. My personal favorite is Luck. I I actually like the idea of having a Buster that can paralyze someone and keep them in the spot. Mm -hmm. uh, then I would say Wood. Alec would aqua would an aqua are the same for me. Yeah. And he heats last. Heats last. A heat we hater. Yeah, we don't like heat. Oh whoops. Oh. You know, I kinda want Yeah. So I made a mistake and I actually have to go to Dex's now because I didn't go to Yai's at first. Or uh, on the way to Bubble Man, I didn't go to, uh, to Dex's. I don't know what I'm saying. Just don't worry about it. Oh, I made another mistake. I don't actually think I have the ability to reg this. Is school closed? I think school is closed. Hmm. This is Wait, awkward. What? I didn't grab a reg memory that I was supposed to grab. Oh, you didn't? I did not. Oh, oh school's not closed. Okay, let's fix our mistake right now. You know the one in 5B? Oh, yeah, 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 the bookshelf. Yeah, yeah. Another gut punch F. Still missing, like, decode. Yeah. Oh, man, I was supposed to do my Navi is sick. So bad yeah. at this game. <laughs> you, uh, you know what? You're you're fine. No, I'm not. You're... I'm not fine, Kilios. You don't have press, right? I do have press. Oh no, you're not fine. <laughs> yeah. This is this is bad. Uh, you know, we just YOLO it. It's fine. This is what I get for playing white. so loaded in Zenny right now. Oh my god. Please don't, Kilios. Not right now. Not like this. The Bubble Brigade fights in uh, BN3 are so nice and easy. Here we get penguins. Can't believe it. I punch F again. Okay, so at least we have a little bit of Zenny. All right, I assume the prediction is over. Chat, tell me if the prediction's over. Oh, I can check right now, actually. Oh, it is. All right, it's time. I can do my Navi is sick during data disk. Don't t don't say out loud what style you got. I wanna I wanna see it for myself. Huh? I said I won't. Alrighty. We find another, right? That's what it was. Yes, find another. Ah, very nice, very nice. So you get the one you like now, and not the one you like later. Exactly. It's a shame, really. Yeah.
All right, now make a prediction for smog. Yes. I am also kind of considering just going to Scilab now. Well, after I get my style. I don't know. Yeah, it might be the fastest time to do it. For you, at least. Well, I don't need an, a specifically regged chip for inviting friends. And then after the beach riots, I gotta go to Scilab for dad's disc anyway. Yeah, that's true. So that's probably the fastest time. But oh, that depends on how much time I would be wasting uh, otherwise on Bubble Brigade. Just waiting for Grass Stage to appear normally. That's fair. I think I'll I just... I don't know. Forgot about Bubble Brigade 2. <laughs> Went straight to 3. Not all the way, but I, I used the To earn, train. to earn. Oh, and I didn't get the Zenny from... Oh, man, I'm doing so badly. From the press comp. Oh, oh. and I didn't put Grass Stage in my folder. Step cross, come on. Nope, okay. This is fine. This works too. We'll grab this tier. Oh my, more money. All right, here comes my style. Wait, is the prediction done? Oh. Yeah, it's done. Okay. okay. Guess what I got? Easy. Twinsies. Crazy. Dang. I, for Chat. one, am not a fan. Chat, Chat's going crazy right yeah. now. I, for one, uh, do not like Alex style. <laughs> But hey, at least it means I don't get a Lex style at the end, right? True. That's that's the only saving grace about that. Oh, cut punch D, we did it. I'm fixing my various mistakes right now. That I got for not going through my slides in a wise manner. And I could do it faster later, but you know, I don't know. And I didn't, oh my god, I'm so bad. I didn't grab an HP memory while I was in ACDC 2. <laughs> I can also do that during, uh... oh my god, I'm actually terrible. You just do that when you go talk to Navizia. But I gotta remember, this is the thing, I gotta remember to do it. Oh, I'm sure you will. I don't know, man, I don't know. I'll I've, remind you. I've gotten to Hades with, uh... oh, I put in my folder, didn't I? Don't worry, you make your time back because of Bubble Man. What? You'll make your time back because of Bubble Man. We'll see, we'll see. Mainly because I can't, you know, manip. Yes, that is true, that is true. But you have base GS. <laughs> you know, yeah. If you top yeah, deck yeah. base GS, then it's, uh, you know? Wait, and if I top deck him, right. Oh yeah, you can use Bolt as well. It's a good point. Oh, I, that's true. Another guaranteed uh, quick kill. Oh, I gotta go here, don't I? I'm not sneak running in this area, which I usually would be by now. Big sad, big sad. Because I forgot that one HP memory. Oh, do I even have... Yeah, I do have enough Zenny. Now that I've been to Yoka a few times, I have the Zenny, you know? I felt like this this hard head took a lot longer to shoot. I was very worried. Ah, oh, shoot! I got a reg grass stage. I don't have the capacity for it. What am I missing? <laughs> oh my god! You can grab the Scilab one. I, I could. Sorry. Yeah. Dude, I just missed. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's be real. <laughs> it's fine. I got step cross. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you got lucky. Just go grab that Scilab one. I it's will, like, I will. Or the one from... Uh, oh, you're already in Scilab, right? So yeah. just grab the one from the vending machine. Oh, no, I went back to Yai's. 
Oh, I don't know yeah, why. Grab, grab the silo. <laughs> Smog, what are you doing? Dude, I don't know. It's the content or something. You know what? We're just... Yeah, here. It's okay. We're still going to win, right? Right, chat? Uh, white, white's the... Uh, I can't say it. I can't say it's the better version. <laughs> it's the better version in this race for now. For now. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Fine. Until we're winning, and then, you know, and then it's fine. Blue's still the better version. Wow, I'm the worst. All right, well, that was Bubble Via. <laughs> oh, my goodness. See, I told you. It was easily predicted. Crazy. Yeah, Doisum is right. The the undernet ranking fights for white version are nothing to laugh about. Bet punch C. Okay, that's that's good, right? I just need D. Yes. D, gut punch D. Gut punch or Z punch acquired. So now uh Brief reminder, Mr. Kilios, to play as if you're getting custom style. Because you are. Correct. I didn't even see how much Zenny I got from there. <laughs> Let's see. Alright. We're kind of rich, so I'm going to buy the invisas now. That's a good plan. That's a good plan. How much Zenny do you have? Do you know? Uh, I can check when I get to the shop. Yeah. Because you can also buy the charge plus one if you have enough Zenny. Yeah. In, uh, <laughs> you know, in Beach Square. Yeah. Uh, I have enough. <laughs> I, I, I have over 20k. <laughs> I don't even need to set gas stage for this. I can early if I wanted. Why did I step forward? Actually, yeah, I could buy the far sword early. Holy Dragoomba moly. Dragoomba strats. Ah, uh, that would start as well. Damn, we really are rich. Oh, I got more Zenny. <laughs> Helios popping off over here. Why? Oh, don't worry. I gotta go fight Bubble Man Alpha now. That's this is my deep for. It's for my but own sake. You're just thing. gonna top tech base GS again. Yeah, that's true. That's true, you know? And you just, sometimes, you know, everything goes my way. Yeah. <laughs> when I play this game. Sensor 3, really good chip, by the yeah. way. Shoutouts. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate that we get it so late in the. Uh, yeah. So game. late and we don't actually need it. I yes, miss that's one thing I miss. I miss my sensor threes that I used to put in my folder. Uh... Let's see. 
Master Style. Oh yeah, you should use Master Style though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm doing it now. So far ahead. No, I just fell bubble man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, I, I um, I'm trying to remember where I missed a reg up. Did I just do my reg up math all wrong? That is that is possible. That is possible. We'll say though, I can't get uh, full cast because I, I only counter two bosses. That is true. That can easily be fixed. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to grab these just for father. Here, I got to grab the HP memory that I did earlier. It is very, very, very important. What styles did we get? We both somehow ended up we, we we were gonna get team style regardless we both got elect it's crazy yeah. it's crazy oh i should have oh i didn't buy the hp memory that's why i'm getting encounters what hp memory the yoko one oh is it 340 oh yeah, yeah zenny oh my god oh yeah i'm rich we're on we're in different calibers right now yeah honestly This is the most BM I've ever been. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're, we're still early into this race. Yes, this is true. You're on your way out of Yoka as I'm just going to Yoka. Oh, I can't believe it. Don't worry, I gotta get you your 1G. That's true. I can just buy it if I get this any. Oh, but that's post gamble. I, I'll have his any. I don't think I actually need this in HP memory, but I'll buy it anyway. Yeah, you don't need it. No, I won't buy it. I want to buy the Var Sword instead. That's a good idea. Bubble man, al Bubble man Alpha. Let's see. I mean, it's Master Style, but what are the yeah. slots? You're gonna have to get Airshot 2 from a Mystery Data. That's true. Or, you know, Trip Trader. <laughs> That's true. That is, that, you know, it is in the 3 Trip Trader. You are not wrong. So, you know, I also had to go to that same area for Airstorm 1. <laughs> yeah. Of all the chips, Airstorm 1. Uh, The game is, in fact, biased against getting uh, Giga Chips in the first draw. So what it does is... I think I'm supposed to do this. No, that was wrong, wasn't it? I'm just supposed to hold. Yeah. What it does is, if it sees a Giga Chip in your top deck, it will shuffle again. Just once more. So it can still end up in your top deck again, it's just less likely.
Oh, it almost feels like cheating buying that varsler. <laughs> it's okay, we're going to Hades. You uh, won't be able to use it. I know, that's the sad part. So yes, for anyone wondering, I am in fact RNG manipulating certain things. Uh, if you're familiar with BN1 any percent, this is nothing like that. I'm mostly just manipulating chip draws on certain bosses and encounters. However, I will be doing some... pretty nuts manips at certain points for certain chips. And uh, I might fail it a few times, but hey, you know, that's fine. We don't need to feed all the viruses, uh, fortunately. That's not part of the category. It doesn't give us any title screen stars. So uh, we are farming bug frags purely for the bug frag trader. Oh, that was bad. Could have done that way better. I will not be doing Marco's patented triple bubble man manip, but I am going to be doing a bubble man beta manip. Oh, that's where I'm going to make up all this time. Have you decided whether you're going to skip him or not? Oh, I'm definitely skipping him. Oh, okay. I might fight him. I'll fight him once, you know, for just the cube. for cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cube. But I, I do not like him. <laughs> Me and him are not. Understandably. Understandably so. I would not invite him to a party. We are, in fact, going to be relying on traders for a whole bunch of trips. Uh, the bug frag trader is going to be mostly for um, for mega chips and probably some of the harder to get standard chips as well. Oh, oops, that was bad. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm bad. PAs are, yeah, star six and seven are PAs and Omega Navis. Giga chips are not a star in this game. All right, Arrow. Oh, actually I do need. That's straight our first try, no. Reek of ADJ. Yeah, I got both good GMDs and both beaches, and I didn't get anything. Big sad. I got you one G, yeah. You might have noticed I just escaped from a. Uh... Well, Omegas give Omega viruses or er, Navi's give Giga chips, but we don't get all Giga chips. I'll just do this. Um. Um, because we still don't get the Giga chips from like the guy that sells it for bug frags. We, you know, Kilios isn't going to get the PVP Giga chip. Um, so those, you know, we don't get those Giga chips. So it's not quite all Giga chips. Oh, on the contrary, I already have the PVP one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. God. How can you do this? Um, is there anything? I buy fish, right. I was like, I buy something really important here, don't I? Uh, charge plus one. Let's do it. Here's our... Uh, oh, we're doing, uh, uh, yeah. Ring ring. Can't believe you're there already. Crazy. Goodbye, Twinners. <laughs> oh, did he get base GS? Sure did. Absolutely disrespectful. If I had another draw, I would use them instead. We'll see. But, you know, there's something satisfying about pressing A and watching the uh, whole... No.
Don't worry, chat. We lose this folder now. It's over. Yeah. All the glory, it's gone. But when you lose one thing, you gain reflect, so... This is true. Yeah, the reason we still do rare chips is purely because we can get mod tools. Ah, I can't believe I missed! Actually, I can't believe I missed. <laughs> Oh! I'm so stupid. I'm doing so bad. Can't believe I done this. Oh, are you serious? Oh my god. Chat, don't look. Look at Kilios being good at the game. I like style, please. Oh my god. It'll be okay, Swan. Remember no. to watch the scene? You know, listen to the best song in the game that we never get to listen to. Alright, sounds good. Because they can't hear my audio. <laughs> so. Oh, right, 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 right. Alright, I'll just go for this. Dude, I hear you just died. Is this true? Yeah, it was very Crazy. unfortunate. Kingman got the upper hand. He played Knight B4 or some shit. Oh my goodness. I actually know that's a valid he did, move. He did the Sicilian opening. I'm sure yeah. that's a thing, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, do you actually know? Yeah. Oh my I, goodness. I know, I know very uh, basic chess. I feel you, I feel you. I know how to play chess, but I wouldn't say I know anything past that. Yeah. He watched Queen's Gambit? I haven't actually watched that yet. Oh. Oh, my favorite. I love this area. Oops. I can't believe this gamer is already at Hades. Oh, whoops. I didn't read the mail. I was like, something looks off. Alright, Twinners, give me a good draw. I used to manip it, and now I don't, because... Well, just because. Oh, well, that was easy. My fight? No, my oh. uh, head encounter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine t calling Tora a cool kid. That guy. I just, you know. I don't know about that. He makes us do jobs for him. How could he? True. The only cool thing about him is his name. I guess so. Dude, I remember Fishless uh, Cold Head Manip. I used to do it back in the day. I've done it a few times. You know, it's just sad. It's Alpha Omega, so there's no reason to do it, but... I mean, there actually is. We don't need fish for anything. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like 8,000 zenny save. But it's easier to just get fish. Yeah, it's just 8,000 zenny. Don't you need fish for the whole man? Oh, I, I do. Because uh, I think it's part of my manip, that's why I still buy it. I figured Dude. that that's the only one you need for the encounter. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, technically there are like no other... Um... Oh, I almost didn't grab the HP from the ramp. <laughs> technically there are no other water encounters in that uh, area other than the strong encounters, so it doesn't really matter. I right, need to read the email. Don't make the same mistake Kilios did. And also 17. All right, 17. Should read that. I'll read it later. No, I'll read it. Unfortunately, cannot do in Marco's corner, so. Yes. I will save, though, just in case. It's like Beast Man or something. As long as I don't get hit, I'm guaranteed to get this, so it's fine. Oh my god, this is actually so bad. Game, please. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Now I don't need this bug anymore. And I don't need fish. Um, meaning I can put some good stuff in here for once. Am I missing a charge plus one? Oh yeah, I didn't pick it up. That's fine. I'm assuming you used Reflect? Yeah, of course. Of course. Crazy, uh, look at this guy. Times. That means my brain, my brain's like slightly working, but it's not like fully working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all about the Danishes, as you might know. Oh, you just gotta keep trying. You'll get it. I almost uh, got some donuts for today, because, you know, in reality, I'm not too big on, uh, on uh, the Danishes. But hey, that's okay. Hey, Shadow Sphere Robot. I gotta do PAs here. Yeah. Oh, I'll have a slight break. That means I can go like grab water. <laughs> yeah, it's a good plan. Stay hydrated, everyone. I could skip Black Bomb One, but I'm already on the way to get it. Good luck with the knot race. Thank you very much. <sighs> Shoutouts to Marker's Corner. Metal Man, please, more aggressive. All right, one more. There we go. There we go. Not the the God Markers Corner setup, but a pretty good one. Oh, I gotta get all of the extra folders. Yeah, almost a counter, too. Unfortunately, we don't get rewards from these fights, so a counter wouldn't have given me bug frags. So we don't prioritize those at all. 
So we're grabbing every extra folder here just because it adds, as previously mentioned, it adds these chips to our library as well. So it's a really easy way to get a bunch of chips for free, pretty much, because we have to wait out this timer anyway, and it just works out nicely. Question number one, which is heaviest? 1,000 1, grams of iron, 10,000 milligrams of stone, or 100 liters of water? Anyone? Anyone? That's right, it's 100 liters of water. Question number two, what is the fake job of Beastman's operator? Circus leader, zoo boss, or world three operator? I mean, I think this is his real job and I don't recall this, so I'm gonna go with Zoo boss. Let's see, let's see. Ah, oh, very good. Question number three. Who is the host of N1's Hades Isle battle? Yasu, Masa, or Hiro? Let's see, wild guess here, even though we, we were told. I think it's Yasu, there we go. Question number four. Which style is ideal for operators that use busters? Heat cuts, electro cuts, or aqua guts. Hmm, I think it's one of these two. I think I've heard something about electro cuts, so I'd be I'd be inclined to go for that one. What does chat think? Everyone's saying heat cuts. All right, let's go with heat cuts. Incorrect. God, chat, you silly silly. Let's do it again. I think it's Aqua Guts. Let's go with that. Which of these is a breaking chip? Pretty sure it's Cannonball. Ah, yeah. And then we get N1 Folder A, the best one. Don't let anyone tell you uh, different. If they say anything about snakes, you don't need them in your life. Dude, it feels so wrong adding a far sword. Ah, oh, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. PAs out of the way. Kilius is fighting Kingman, I see. Oh, he got the area grab right at the beginning. Good stuff. <laughs> what amazing luck! Dude, luck is overrated. Yeah, Kilius, are you muted? You might be muted. Oh, it's on purpose. Okay, okay. Kilius is just gaming. No, I was talking to my brother. Oh, okay. That too, that too. <gasps> Am I catching up? <gasps> yeah, Kingman is not a very good fight for me personally with uh, 
my draws. I feel you. I feel you. You know you can switch back to your regular folder. Oh yeah, you did. Oh, I'm I'm using it. Yeah. That's why I like having super armor. Because I don't have to worry about getting my bar swords interrupted. On one hand, I think it's pretty funny that uh, Mr. Progbot has changed his target. But uh, on the other hand, how could it not be Kilios? There we go. That's like a 1% chance, by the way. Oh, really? It's actually yeah. pro Oh my god! That's perfect. Oh, now people are gonna spam it. It's all right, chat. Just, you know. Trust us, it's a 1% chance. All right, here comes the cutscene. I'm not gonna read the text. I'm just gonna get to the good part. So Trod is the A- I, I lied, I am gonna read the text. So Trod is <laughs> the heir to the IPC Incorporated Fortune. What am I saying? This isn't the time for that. We've got to figure out a way to help Chod's dad. If we could just distract Sunayama for a second. Are we carrying anything that might do the trick? That's Mega Man's new voice. I have an idea. Mega Man, how about we... Whisper, 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 whisper. I guess we've got no choice. This is an emergency, but we can't afford to miss. Trust me. That's Lan. Oh my god, you're already ahead? Yes. <laughs> Crazy. All right, here comes the cutscene. You've already seen it at Achilles's, but here we go again. Into the fight. Oh my god, we're neck and neck. Craziness. <sighs> that is a nice amount of damage when you get maximum pinage. On uh, on Bullman ship. Oh, that's actually such nice damage. This rock cube doesn't matter. Uh, we actually only care about getting maximum pinage again. Or almost maximum pinage. Thank you, Sferwa. Kilios, here's the time. We're gonna be doing it at the same time. <laughs> this is where everything's gonna go wrong. Trust yeah, me, everyone. It's gonna be gonna be a long session, at least for me, because I'm doing audio. Uh, go back to ACDC. No, Bullman, Bullman V3 is farmable. I traded it over from a, an actual game. Oh, did I do the wrong floor? Oh my god! This elevator. <sighs> I'm so bad at this game. It's 
Uh, yeah, I should do the TV comp before I forget. One of these corners is the right one. It says on the slides! I, I can't read. Does it not? On the blue slides? Oh no, it does. It says bottom left. Yeah. You crazy. What do you mean I can't run from these? What? Oh! Alright. I am going to focus very hard, gamers. Everything's going terribly.
to...
five. One more. driven me out of business.
Let's go, Kilios. Ooh, he did it. All right, everyone. So that was Gamble Manip. Um, trust me, Gamble Manip is the part of the game. How, how do I even explain it? How do I it's even important. It's important. <laughs> it, it's very it's, important. It's the part of Alpha Omega that lets you do crazy stuff. That's I think that's a good way to put it, right? Yeah. Uh, I just got a chip order from Higsby and then I can explain it. Um, so basically, anyone curious about it, Kilius and I were actually doing different setups for Gamble Manip. Um, so that's why you saw me hard resetting and Kilius soft resetting a whole bunch. I was using a method that uh, involves hard resetting to look at a visual cue in the background. So I only use an audio cue in the title screen, and then I look at the background of the comp to see when I should be pressing A. Kilius was using purely audio cues, which, in my opinion, way harder. But that's what you know, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like... At the end of the day, the best way to go about it is to just use what you know. Um, and trust me, there have been times, and I don't want to name any names, Terra, where, uh, you know, runners of Alpha Omega have spent around an hour trying to get a single um, gamble manip. And we just did, I did six partial gambles and one full. You, I noticed you did the seven and then the one full, right? Yeah. So you're going to be buying uh, Anubis. Well, yes, but I'm also going to wait until later. That's I fair. Think. That's fair. I respect it. I want to have the extra money just in case I like, yeah, need yeah, it for yeah. something else. I don't know. But there are backups, anymore. too. We can always pick up the... There's 50,000 Zenny we can get later during the secret area, which is, you know, very, very later. Cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, fun fact. Uh, we spend over 200,000 Zenny in this Torah job section alone. It's pretty crazy. If Kalios wanted to buy Anubis, he would be spending over 300,000 zenny. Um, okay. That was a lot of shopping from Higsby's. <laughs> so yeah, um, basically the game decides when the next, what the next panel is going to be in the gamble mini game when you press yes that you want to do a next round. Uh, and so with that knowledge, there are a few different setups. I used a setup that is usually used on the Japanese version of the game. Uh, it's just that I'm used to it, so I figured out a way to use a different title screen cue to uh, to get the same visual minip. Alrighty. And Kilios has, uh, is used to a, a an audio cue setup that is what is traditionally used in the English versions. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Got a lot of Zenny. <laughs> we're, we're like, we're pretty much set for the rest of the run. Yeah. Why? Well, even though it takes so long, it's much faster than the alternatives that we mm -hmm. can do. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mentioned, you know, once upon a time, uh, Terra did unfortunately take an hour to do a gamble manip uh, in a, a previous Alpha Omega run. But the crazy thing about it is that that still saved time yeah probably because the alternative is um grinding green mystery data in yoka one uh i shop here almost jacked out which uh takes a long time and uh it's not the ideal thing 
But that's the route you have to do if you're not able to do Gamble Manip and you still want to do an Alpha Omega run. Hey, you don't have to. I mean, actually, yeah, you do have to. <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah. So yeah, sorry that uh, we might have been a little quiet, but you know, Kilios, I don't know about you, but I was uh, I was real nervous. Yeah, I got nervous at so when I started it. Yeah. I was nervous because I thought I just forgot the audio cue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, I got it again. And then mm -hmm. I did. I was actually not gonna get the the seventh one. I was just gonna finish yeah. it. But then, like at last second, I was like, "Okay, fine. I'll I'll just do the seventh one, and then yeah, I'll yeah, finish yeah. it." As and then, uh, yeah, because I had that in my mind that this was the last one. I think that threw me off. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I, I hit uh... five in a row. <laughs> you, oh, you did crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if anyone's wondering uh, how it's possible, it's uh, thanks to the science that a lot of people, not me, and I don't think Kilios have conducted, and uh, and also a lot of practice. It's actually shoutouts to uh, Prismatic Black for yes. discovering the first audio cue setup for this. For sure, Prismatic Black, a known uh, Battle Network One runner, Battle Network One any percent uses a lot of uh, RNG manip, so it makes sense that he was one of the first people to bring it up. And I think, if I recall correctly, he. Uh, <laughs> kind of brought it up as a, a half serious half joke suggestion didn't he yeah he's the reason why i use a rhythm deck rhythm yeah, tech. yeah so it's like i count the beats in my head and that's how mm -hmm. i know what to do oh and why did jack in here i remember someone saying that at some point he came uh to a stream and said like oh my god people are actually doing this or something like yeah that. <laughs> crazy crazy We'll buy Anubis later. Oh, I think that Cuss Sword was too expensive, so might be. I mean, only by like a thousand zen or two thousand, so it's not too huge of a deal. I don't grab anything there. Damn, you put this in alphabetical order. What? The, uh... Yeah, of course. The ship order thing. I was like... Confused why it was what going so smooth. What do you what do you expect me to do? To put it in a terrible order? True. Dude, these notes. The notes. Where did I see oh, where am I even going? I thought I saw a green mystery data somewhere that would have been good. So I could have gotten gut straight R, but uh I was wrong. I was incorrect. Dude, you're already like so close behind me. Yeah, so the reason why we don't call it 100% is specifically because there are a lot of things that we don't do. There, there not there a command arbitrary? Exclamation mark arbitrary. Yeah, for example, we don't do all of the jobs uh, on the request board. We just do the ones that benefit us for various reasons. Um, yeah, there you go. So we basically said, uh, you know, the run will be beating the final powered up boss, Alpha Omega. And to do that, we only need to grab uh, the things required to get the seven stars on the title screen. Just as a reminder, the seven stars are uh, blah, 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 beating the game once and seeing the credits, so regular Alpha. Uh, getting all standard chips, all Mega chips beating the Serenade Time Trials, beating base GS, and uh, then doing all PAs and beating the Omega Navis. Yeah, there it is, seven stars. En passant, has got it. More chess, apparently. I will say though, of all the things in this run, the most stress-filled thing is probably doing gamble minute. Yeah, I I would agree. So now we're now we're just chilling. 
yeah. Once again, as, as Kilio said, that's literally all of the Zenny for the rest of the route. With a few minor exceptions where we can get like 50,000 Zenny from a blue mystery data. Getting bad draws. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, yeah, I guess we do have to fight Melon Man now. Yep. You don't have to, but if you want to do some cool stuff, uh, some cool fast routing, it's then task fires, is yeah. Task fires and some other stuff afterwards, if I recall. Or before that. We don't really care about getting hit, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it just works out nice. Oh, and I countered Metal Man's punch! Dude, <laughs> let's go. I didn't even mean to do that. I and should probably just switch back to Super Armor. Super Armor, pretty good, pretty good. Not I don't think Reflect's lie. good right now. For Alpha Omega. Yeah, I feel you. Okay. But yeah, any extra bug frags that we can get on the way is super helpful because uh, it just means a little bit less grinding later on. Oh, right. I'm thinking of the wrong job. C -c 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 counter! So the only two styles we are going to have in the run are team style, which we have now, and custom afterwards. Yeah, exactly. And so we need team style because we need V4 uh, Navi chips. Most V4 Navi chips are in the bug frag trader, except for um, there are no bull man chips of any version and no mist man chips of any version. So, um... We need team style to get those, which is a little unfortunate. This is why everything's all out of whack. Didn't I buy a Varsword? Yeah. I don't know what to put in this folder, to be honest. Oh, area grabs for sure. Okay. Dude, I'll race you, Binkledurg. Yeah. Here's a command as well, exclamation mark Wii U, for anyone curious. Yeah, Kilius is running the Wii U VC version, and I'm just running the regular version with uh, an extra, a GBA, Darn. and a cart of blue that had the chips I needed to trade over. I was hoping that would counter hit. Uh, I went a little too early. Yeah, I think it's just as he throws it. Like, once his arms are extended. Yeah, but I tried I timing it. Know. It went a little early. Yeah, Binkle, you can you can sub 24 easy, probably. I mean, yeah, my my first uh, very unoptimized run, like, six years ago was 20 hours. If I could do it, anyone can. Exactly. Well, uh, maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. I was like, yeah, I'll support everyone who wants to try this run. And then I realized what that statement said, and I was like, 
Killer's pretty good. Killer's pretty good. So yeah, for anyone who might be uh, curious about this, you don't actually have to get a Wii U to play the Wii U VC version. There are uh, patches that you can do and play it on, you know, on like a computer or something. Okay. I have the correct amount of HP. Good. Where are you going? Oh, Airshot 2? Yeah, it was free. Might as well try it. Yeah, fair, 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 fair. Exactly, with your legally backed up copy of the game. That's exactly what I meant, Sferua. Ah! I'm not getting any bar swords. How does it feel, uh... Having already bought an extra one in the shop. That's a good question. Uh, I feel powerful than uh, than now. It's like kind of awesome, but it's also kind of manga s at the same time. Because that means I save 10k any on exactly, my game. Exactly. Exactly. There you have it. That is pretty good. So, uh, in terms of uh, actual folder building, we don't do anything too uh, crazy in terms of like something you might have seen as a suggestion for PvP or something. We basically use var swords. <laughs> yeah, that's the simple way to put it. We use var swords and other uh, strong things, and then later on we use Mr. Presse himself. All right, I'll be right back. Yep, taking my first break. Alrighty, sounds good. I think I will also take a break soon when Kilius gets back. Yeah, Varsard commands can be pretty tricky. Um, what am I doing next? Beach. Uh, when you hold the A button, you have 45 frames to input... Uh, co uh, other button presses on specifically the B button and the D-pad. So for example, the one we use that is the most powerful is the Elemental Sonic Boom. We probably just refer to it as E-slash a lot of the time. Um, and uh, we have 45 frames to press A, to hold A, and press B, B, left, down, up. And it's usually the motion of going from down to up that messes up most people. It's pretty It's pretty hard. Also, holding the A button and pressing the B button twice quickly. Uh, I, for one, usually hold the A button with my uh, middle finger and press the B button with my index, and then I do the D-pad as normal. Hey, Binkle, you, you, I remember when you couldn't get it either. It takes practice. We've, we've all practiced it. No bully, Binkle. No bully. Ah. Where am I even going? Ah, oh, the life sword input is so much fun, though. So I am uh, just, I finished doing Tora's uh, job requests, and I am getting to the beginning of the Plant Man scenario. And Kilios is just finishing up the last few Tora job requests. Yeah, some of the Varsard commands are pretty simple. For example, you can do the same uh, Hadouken command, uh, down, down, right, right, to make it be a, a long sword. 
that's a pretty useful one actually a lot of the time because uh, some of the time you don't need anything that's more difficult than that I don't know that the game itself strictly explains how to use the var sword maybe it does some commands oh my god lol 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 oops <laughs> no not you lols Alrighty. Let's do things correctly this time. Nobody saw those L button strats, trust me. Exactly. See what? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Exactly. Kilios is the one to watch. He's the real winner of this not race. Oh, that's true, that's true. I always forget about the BBSs giving you uh, hot game tips, gameplay tips. Yeah, Achilles went on a break, he'll be back shortly. Don't y'all worry. It's important on long runs like these to uh, stand up, stretch, stay hydrated, get away from the game for a little bit. Oh, important phone call. There you have it. So a fun thing about doing Gamble Manip is that we're actually able to buy enough HP memory to... Uh, completely sneak run in this comp. Uh, it's one of the only places where we can actually get ahead of the sneak run amount, the sneak run threshold. <sighs> what do we got? Lex sword was a little earlier. Yep. Uh, I may as well do the order now as well. Fire, water. Oh, it's already in spot. Select. Yeah, shoutouts to single segment runs. Pretty good. Good stuff. Big fan. Welcome back, Helios. I don't know if you're uh, back in voice. Thank you. Shoutouts to Lan deciding to uh, jump out a window from a second story of a hospital. Alrighty. I 
I always thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could talk to that door by the beach, the basement hospital door, like one of the times when we're going to see Mamoru? Yeah. That would be nice. Oh, well. Helios, is Ultra, is Ultra saying the truth? No, I had a phone call. That was it. <laughs> I swear. I need Baytree to play Genshin before stream. Makes sense, makes sense. Get his gotcha fix. Even though we're yeah. definitely going to be doing some yeah, sort well, of we'll gotcha be, later. We'll be doing real gotcha soon. Yeah. This is literally, like, important. And it's... I guess it's not free for land, but it's free for us. Yeah. Alright, let's see. So for anyone wondering, uh I don't I don't know if I could play this game speedrun it because I could never memorize all of these vines. Don't worry about it. We have maps uh that are gonna probably be I, I don't know if they're already in exclamation mark the notes, but if not, they can be put there soon. I have some pretty good ones. And uh yeah. There are a lot of resources, and if there aren't resources, they always uh, feel free to ask Team BN on the Discord. Please fix the melody on the layout. What is there to fix? Oh, it's in your thing currently. Your uh, it's it's implying that we're listening to your game audio, but I think it's just mine. Oh. Uh, I can at Erethar. Oh no, this isn't hidden. Oh, maybe, actually. Maybe. What's the virus called again? Oh, he's too strong! Now's not the time to look at BN strats. Oh, the purple dolphins. That that is something I don't miss about uh blue. Yeah. Are you gonna try the BN one thing? The in during the ranking? No, during the... Well, yeah, I guess... The, uh... Virus skip. Where you, where you do the, the B and one thing, and then uh, you skip the, you know... The because virus. I have the chain in it? After Coffee no, Man? I, yeah, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. <laughs> it's I don't know the, what you're talking about. Alright, you know how you can skip Polar Bears? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that thing. I see. Why don't I skip Copy Man? Because you can't in the English version. That's why. And also, it's actually useful to go down to under three, under four. Um, so we actually get some stuff on the way. You'll see, you'll see. Don't worry about it. So yeah, Achilles, I do uh, suggest Paying a little bit of attention to anytime there are maps in the slides, there will be red circles, and for the most part, they're pretty important. Fair. Alrighty, let's keep on going. Alright, let's find some time to scroll. There we go. Oh, I gotta stop. Oh, I'm always just like, ah, uh, chilling, vibing, humming along. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on a stream. I can't do that. <laughs> no, it's, I, I do it too. It's just that yeah. uh, my mic doesn't pick up my voice a lot for some reason. Big shout outs to uh, all of the music in the Battle Network series. I think uh, everyone here is probably a big fan. 
uh, at least at Team BN, and I'm sure everyone watching, you know, if you played them as a kid, you probably remember them quite fondly. The tunes. It's all about the tunes. Oh, yeah, Binkle. Good luck with your flight. See you, Binkle. Good luck. He's going. He's, he's on a long flight. He's a traveling man. I don't think he'll he'll mind if I say, but Binkle Dirk, who's a Battle Network 3 runner who started pretty recently, uh, is currently moving from, I believe, Germany to Korea. So everyone send your your good luck to Binkle Dirk. I gotta put Reflect into Counter Plant Man. Because it's free, you know? True. Is this an actual race? I don't know, Kalios. What do you think? Is it? Uh, I'd say it's a race. It's a race, but not really. It's more uh, mental support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Uh, you know, the best way to do these long runs that you've seen over the course of the week is always to do it with others. Uh, for sure, for sure. If you can have someone to talk to for, you know, I don't know, 12 to 20 hours. Oh, shoot. Uh, that always ends up being better. Yeah. I put all the bowman ships. Yes. I think I'm going to take a short break after Plant Man. Okay, this works, this works. I'm Alex style. Good thing I saved. against <laughs> Plant Man. I guess we're both Alex style. Jeez. How did I forget, Lulz? Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. We got the bug frags, that's all that matters. What's he the might... counter hit on Plant Man again? I, I, I don't think he can be fully... So if you're in the front row and he's in the back row, I don't think that works. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think he, he can be right in front of you or one panel in between you. Uh, and then that's okay. All right. I'm gonna get close to Beard Man, I think, and then we'll go for a break. Oh, sounds good. All right, I'll be right back, y'all. Short break, short break.
Hey, what's up, Doc? Welcome. Oh, I should have done this first. returned well, it, was, it was a short short break okay so yes I see I'm assuming some people explained uh, mod tools Mod tools pretty good, pretty important, I would say. Pretty important to, uh, especially Alpha Omega. It allows us to have a lot of side effects that are really good. Uh, very, very useful for sure. So this is the mod tools menu. Uh, you put in a code. For example, I'm putting in the code, keep trying even if you're eating two danishes. And that gives me the effect of super armor. It's a pretty good one. I'm a big fan of super armor. Uh, especially in a game like BN3 where you're doing a lot of bar sword, uh, E slash especially, you're, you're standing still while you're inputting the code and um, you can get hit and cancelled out of your E slash at that point, so I like super armor just because it uh it's good, trust me. Oops. But yeah. I'm just starting up the Flem Man scenario. Uh, if you were around for Battle Network 2's Freeze Man scenario, this is another popular scenario to dislike. And you know, I can get it, I can get it, but I'm not the right person to uh, <laughs> to talk about it, I don't think. Helios, what do you think about it? Which scenario? Flem Man. <laughs> Uh, Flamman scenario is very good as a casual standpoint, but when you come towards uh, actually doing it, I will say, not the most exciting part of the run. For sure, for sure. I can totally agree with that. Shoutouts to the Elect Buster charging incredibly slowly. But yeah, I think uh, what I always say is that uh, for me at least, it feels more linear than the Freeze Man scenario and uh, you usually know when you're done in each area and you only have to visit each area once as opposed to uh, the Freeze Man scenario where you're kind of going back and forth between like Natopia area and the undernet. Yeah, definitely. So this is why we fought Metal Man twice to be able to open Tamako's cube and go straight to Beach Square. It's very convenient because there's a guy right here. Oh, I didn't do the job. Even though I saw the nav navvies right there. <laughs> the, uh, you know the one. Yeah. Ooh, that hurts. 
Oh my god! I'm actually terrible at this game. And I died. Good stuff. <laughs> Where did I save last? Oh my god. That's fine. This is one extra fight and a bit of walking. Shoutouts to Alex Style! Ah, yeah! Hey, Doc, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Appreciate it. So, unfortunately, Hub Style isn't an actual style in this game. It's, um... It's a Navi customizer part. So... There's no real hub style in the traditional sense. Oh, what did I just do? Um, so we we actually absolutely, absolutely need team style still. I don't think I actually got around to burning Salamander, but if I had to, I would. Because I already did uh, Master Style Program Advance, so... I don't need to do it again, and I don't really need the chips for anything. I burned it all. Yeah. Did you make sure to do uh, Elm Slurred? I did, I did. Okay, cool. I'll make sure to do this job this time. What's the answer? Drama Metro Usher. My own Cyber Metro. And then Usher. Uh, and we get Step Sword O, which is for a program advance. Let's save this time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the uh, the gloomer got me, man. I like got hit so many times. It's a scary fight. Oh, whoops. Might be. Shared on E-slash. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll try and counter Plant Man. Sure. <laughs> yeah, only a try. Yeah. Recap ADJ again. How do I do this again? Just fight this guy. Yeah, it's a funny job. I, I was doing it from memory during my practice, and I totally got the answers wrong, and I was like, oh, there's a virus battle. That's funny. He was very cooperative. Ah, oh, very good, very good. All right, now we can get full cussed. <laughs> goodness. Oh, I got a Barrier Star from Beach 1! Oh, nice. So good. Wait, isn't that, isn't that guaranteed? No. From a Green Mystery Data. Oh. I didn't do any, like, Chain Manip or anything. Oh, isn't isn't Barrier in a... Oh, no, you need a Barrier Star, yeah. Or you, you just don't need, need a Barrier, a barrier. Star. Uh, well, you can get a barrier from the doghouse comp. It's just Barry Star is cool because Barrier is actually a good ship. That's true. So, and I know they come star coded in Beach One, so I, I'm just happy I got one. Also, a reminder to pick up uh, Green Mystery Data in Scilab for you because Rock oh, Cube true. Star. I is true. I need a Mom Quake. Yeah, forgot all about that. So just whenever you're going through, pick him up. And that's in Scilab 2. Oh, whoops. I'm 
like trying to remember what I'm doing. Oh no, scent of danger. <laughs> I was like, we go to the hospital now, right? So yeah, uh, impressively enough, I always do this. Barrier Star isn't for Barrier 500. Uh, it's just because it's a good show. Star coded, it protects you from one hit. Beautiful, beautiful. There are some times where it's just nice to be protected from one hit. And like, that's all the time you need to be able to, you know, throw out an E-slash. so weird being so healthy again. So much HP. Yeah. He has the scent of danger about him. Well, thank you very much, guy. Shoutouts to Mr. Match. He has the scent of danger about him. Ah! I forgot to do help with to pick up help with rehab. <laughs> it was in my notes too. It was like scent of danger through eyes, and then literally below it, job sixteen start help with rehab. Because we're going to the hospital anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh no! Okay. So yeah, well, Achilles and, uh, and I are now on the same scenario. Pretty crazy. If anyone feels like at one point one pulls too far ahead of the other, uh, definitely in the first, like, I don't know, 10 hours, it could all change at any point. Yeah. In the last few hours, it, it, you know, it's a little bit more difficult because the, the whole bit after Serenade is definitely a lot more linear in terms of what we do and why and when and all of those things. So now I'm doing a job called Help with Rehab, uh, where I will be fighting a bunch of very scary Omega viruses. And you can game over here, so rem reminder to save. <laughs> Look at this silly guy. like this. Oh my god, I'm a Lex style. This is actually the worst. I didn't top deck a Varsword for Viney Omega. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> terrible. Oh, scary virus. Okay, um, I might just die. Let's see. Okay, I didn't get caught. Let's go for another Varsword. Or, uh, let's just go for these, I guess. Did it not damage him? Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, I, got right, go. I did it too early. Oh, you got air shot too? Very nice. There we go. Oof. Oh, Ella Ball. Another kind of scary one because he moves so take quickly. A chip. <laughs> oh, 
Let's oh no, he's guy. too smart. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of fights that are definitely only really scary when you don't draw E slash. There we go. Got the best program in the game, humor. Shoutouts to humor. Wait a second. Uh. When do we do the joke? Do we do it at the end of the run, or do we do it after any percent? Uh, at the end of the run. All right, all right. No, so if you want to see a humor joke, yeah. you gotta stay here for 14 hours. Here's the important uh, Mr. Prog lore. Listen to this. These things on our heads aren't ears. They're our hands! Team BN Dab, Team BN Dab, Team BN Dab. So Oh, I got the rock cube. We're free. <laughs> oh, I got a rock cube as well, even though I already have four. So it's <laughs> useless. But it's fodder, I guess, right? True. Oh, look at Ultra with his cool Scuttle-themed uh, emote. True. It's a good one. One day, one day. I did get paid yesterday. Oh, nice. But I am also deeply in debt. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is fun. How much regmem do I have already? I have 20, okay. I clearly mapped out regmem incorrectly. We only need <laughs> 18 for the whole game, but, uh... I was short at the beginning, so clearly I did that wrong. Oh, oops, almost didn't take help me with my son. Yes, a quick uh, quick quiz to anyone watching. What is the one uh, mainline Battle Network game that Mr. Match does not appear in? Between BN1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Any answers? Any answers? Any takers? It is, in fact... Battle Network 5. Everyone is correct. Everyone that answered being 5, that is. <sighs> Dude, I'm so glad my notes have... Uh... Talk to Lady in Yoka Station highlighted now. <laughs> so many times I've gotten there and I'm like, wait, isn't there a guy supposed to be here? Energy change back in the thing. How do I do this again? Yeah, 
is unfortunate, but it is what it is. We don't have to do all of the jobs for Alpha Omega, fortunately. Uh, I forget if there's anything that requires it, like a door. Do you remember, Kilios? Um, there's a door that requires it, but I don't think it was anything important behind it. Yeah, I forget as well. There was a door in Secret 1 that we used to do, which is uh, the quiz door uh, that we don't do anymore. And that, along with skipping Darkman Alpha, saves us from having to fight a 10 battle monolith. But more on that later, more on that later. We'll still probably do some of the quizzes. We still do some of the quizzes for chips we need. And then we also are probably going to do some of the quizzes for content. Don't worry about it, Ultra. Hub style isn't a thing in this game. Uh, it's a Navi customizer part that you can get uh, in the post game. Uh, it probably, it definitely, I should say, won't be shown off in this game, in this, uh, these runs, but, uh, it's a cool program that can definitely have its uses, especially, I'm gonna assume, in something like PvP, but I actually don't know for sure. <laughs> I don't know if Hub Batch is any good. The big thing is that it cuts your HP in half. So, um, it depends on whether or not you want to take that risk. We actually must do the 30 fight gauntlet. It's not 30, it's like 20, isn't it? It's, I think it's a 20 fight gauntlet. It's long. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have to do it because uh, of s a certain reason. I, I can just say it, right? Doesn't really matter. What do you think, Kilius? Should I just say it? Uh, go for it. There's a certain very powerful Omega Navi that is behind that monolith. It is the one, the only base Omega. And so it's actually a requirement for Alpha Omega to do that monolith. Seymour! The internet is on fire! We can blame Prof. Alright, where do I... Oh, right, I don't do Cyber Metro. Uh, oh, I always forget where uh, Mail's warp is in Yoka Square. Let's see. Yeah, it seems like uh, fire-related uh, crimes are very common in 20XX. So yeah, 
there's the Flamman scenario. Still nothing too crazy to write home about, so... You know, we just uh, get through it. All of the fires that give us virus encounters are preset, so it's always those fires that give us virus encounters. Uh, so it's nothing too surprising. All of the ones that give us more water chips always give us more water chips. All of the ones that give us zenny always give us more zenny. Uh, though I do believe the amount of zenny is random. Or, you know, random within the area's drop tables. Or maybe a special net fire drop table. I don't actually know. It's not too much zenny at the end of the day, so we don't really uh, care for it. I'm pretty sure it changes prof. It's not always a uh, hundred zenny. It's sometimes it's like sometimes it's like two hundred zenny. I don't think it's a set amount. And here during the net fire scenario is where we will begin to fight some alpha viruses. For example, here's Flashman. No Varsword. Seriously though, where are my Varswords at? <laughs> it's not like we have four in the folder. And... I don't. I don't think. Oh, I still have to buy mind. one. I only have three. Maybe I don't even have the third one in. Is my folder bad? Oh my god, I only have two in my folder, that's why. <laughs> what? Why? I don't remember. I don't remember why this is the way that it is. Let me think. I get one from the codes. I buy one from chip order. I buy one in undersquare. Where's the fourth one? What's the fourth one that I get? Actually, I don't, know. I don't recall. I don't recall. Oh, I think there's one in under four as well. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, where'd I go next? Silo. Yeah, Varsword, a very powerful tool for sure, for sure. Especially with E-Slash, which is the thing you need to use on bosses. Uh, the first three hits don't cause iframes, and the last one does, but that means that all four hits actually... I gotta fight Beastman. All four hits actually connect. Does 640 damage unless it's an elemental boss, or you're on a grass stage or an ice stage, in which case it does 800 damage. Oh, I wanted to counter him, didn't I? Put reflect back in, I guess. Or right, you two will be doing Sire Science says. Nah, I'm good. Don't worry about it. For me, I don't need to. Oh, but it's fun. But it is fun. I will be doing one for the lols. Not the viewer, just the general LOLs. LULs. You know how it is.
Come on, beast man. Come on, beast man. This guy's just doing this attack over and over. Oh, now you go there. And you go there. And, and then I had iframes. And then he does the attack again. Beast man, please. There we go. Ah. We won't be sticking with this style. We will eventually go to custom style. Uh, yeah, the frags are nice. The frags are definitely nice whenever you can pick them up. Two guys burning fires. Or uh, not burning fires, what am I saying? Putting out fires. Do I not have enough water chips? <laughs> but I, I literally bought the water chips. Did you take out the ones from folder two? Oh, I didn't. That's a good point. That needs to go in the slides, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to switch to custom, but you do have to have team. Uh, as Prof says, you, the three custom chips are Big Wave from Metar 3s. Um, Burning from Fishy 2s, oops, from Folder, and uh, Volcano from any of the Volcano viruses. What am I doing? So Volcano, Volcaner, and Volcanist. Very good names, yes. Uh, but yeah, the the, the uh, custom rank viruses, uh, the, those chips are in the 10 chip trader and the bug frag trader. So we don't, don't technically need custom style, but we do need team style for the... Oh, I don't know if that's going to make a difference. We need team style for Bullman or Mistman V4. Uh, none of the Bullman chips V1 through 4 or the Mistman chips V1 through 4 are available in the Bug Frag Trader. And obviously V1 through 3 are it's not a problem because we can get them with any style, but we need team style to get V4. That's literally it, Prof. Um, it's it's so unfortunate. It's like if if the V4s were in the trader, in the bug frag trader, we could just start with custom. Because all literally all of the other V4s are in the bug frag trader. And we will be taking advantage of that for certain uh, annoying navvies. Please tell me where's the 
Green mystery data. I'm gonna get gut straight R now. I saw the one up the ramp. I'm looking for the other one. There it is. So I am currently looking for Gut Straight R, which is dropped from a green mystery data in this area. Oh, Rocky Star. I didn't know that was in this area. Pretty sure I said that exact thing in my practice as well. <laughs> Got straight R. Oh, that was fast. Nice. Oh, I forgot about this. I'd be. And if you notice, after that cutscene, Green Mystery Data respawns. So if they were really far away, I would have watched that cutscene first and then seen if they were closer and uh, just dealt with whatever was handed to me. But they weren't too bad. And then just like that, welcome to the Undernet. I got Guts Trade R just randomly. Aw, uh, lucky. Feels lucky, man. Aw, oh, I wish I had Collect. I just got the two Fishy 3 encounters. Of course, Kalios just gets it blindly. He is one with BN3. Oh, it's just my time to catch up. Exactly. Man, you're you're really close behind. <laughs> Kil Kilios has been gaming. Kilios, what do you think about uh, BN3 Undernet? Oh, I don't have the unlockers. That's okay. You don't what have do I think fast about the Undernet? Yeah, what do you think of BN3 Undernet? I like BN3 Undernet. I actually think it's... Uh, I like how they have like color-coded flooring. Yeah, like levels. Yeah. It's also not the most confusing undernet <laughs> to yeah. traverse. I I would agree. So we're done with um We're done with energy change forever. Not I, curious, I fine. myself am quite a big fan of this undernet. Ah! Alright, we're good. I messed up dodging the fishy two at the end, but... Hey, nothing bad happened. Uh, why did I... I want to counter... Oh, I'm so dumb. I want to counter Flamman as well. I've accepted my fate of having to do Cyber Simon says. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I kind of uh, cursed you to that by finalizing the route. 
It's actually not that bad, as long as I, like, focus on it. Yeah. Because once you, like, mess up once or twice, it's like your brain just fries. Yeah. Yeah, you can only mess up, like, twice at most. I'm so bad at B-lefting. Give me the Var Sword. That didn't even give me the counter. I'll do it again. You can get Salamander from GMDs in Undernet 3. Yep, it's pretty it's funny. funny. Damn, you've caught up. Ugh. I'm playing so bad. Only does the thing. Well, now he doesn't have a choice because I area grabbed. Shout out to Fat Kid. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Didn't even counter. You know, I. I'm bad. I mean, you're gonna do a... Uh, what's it called anyway, so you might as well just... You know, yeah, well, I don't even need it. Not That's worry. the thing. <laughs> oh, I never talked to the lady. I'm coming back, lady. Oh, you didn't even do the job? No, I, I did the job. Oh, you just didn't I get spin yellow? I see, yeah. I see. And that's how we catch up. Yeah, I thought you could uh, counter Flame Man, but Flame Man, but maybe it's just uh, if he does the quick attack, not the one, you know, the, the slower one. Did you take? Uh, so, yeah, you did. Okay. Look at Kilius actually reading the notes. True. Can't say the same about me. Reading it on the small squares. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't get a chance to switch them until I jack in. Oh, my ticket gets reset. <laughs> no, you didn't buy one. Hmm? You didn't buy a ticket. No, uh, after. The one after. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like after, I like, usually always buy the, I buy the beach pass for the meme because it just converts to ACDC. Oh really? That's funny. I didn't know that. I always wondered what happened if you take the beach pass. Oops. Yeah, Flam Man is just a meme, but it's it's a necessary meme. Reminder also that the stairs are healthier and faster. Hey, shoutouts to BN2. 
and we never saw him again other than in the credits but don't worry about that I'm gonna show off the slow wall shadows to the slow wall all right that's enough This is the Virus Breeder. It's a very cool, funky looking machine that is, is uh, more important than it used to be before. We'll show why later. Oh. I don't know what Going the early metric price is. Okay, that makes sense. Because we get Black Mind, right? And what do we use Black Mind for? We use it for the story, but also... Oh, for... that guy? Yeah. Yeah, and Tamako right, brings us where? See, this is all like huge brain stuff. All my passes are wrong. I think we gotta take that out as well. Battery, dang. All right. Team two star. Good stuff. Did I take press out? Oh, I took press out, didn't I? And I didn't go through the warp. Everything's going terribly. see yeah undersquare shopping i was like why is why is Kilius talking about battery we don't have that yet but uh it's like we get it we get it momentarily so fun fact with 620 hp we actually sneak run through undernet one which sounds cooler than it actually is because uh we can only get at most like one encounter in undernet one <laughs> so it's not actually too much of a time save is where I'm going to fall behind. <laughs> All of these ranking encounters are going to mess me. <laughs> what do you mean? They're, they're so easy. Dude, not even. No. Have you ever fought two uh, Mega Bunnies and a Dominard? Oh, I sure have. There's a highlight of it. Oh, very good. Very literally good. Literally cannot die. Literally? Exclamation mark, literally? Of course. Also, I don't say how many HP memories, but um, just a, it shows uh, the HP. It shows the HP exactly. I should have saved before I did this. It's a long. It's a long. Uh, a long clip of me dying to ranking. Woo! 
Ooh, first try. Good stuff. Oh, I didn't talk to the guy, did I? How many times do you have to do it? Oh, actually, I'll let him focus. How many times do I need to do it? So I need, I have 30, I need to do it three times because- Oh, really? I am, oh, man. Yeah, I didn't buy, what's it called? Yeah. Full cuss. That's not that bad though. Yeah. All right, now I'll actually pay attention. Did I not buy everything from the shop? I don't think I did. Might be. I only bought HP memories, didn't I? Stuff.
Can we get some ratty pleases in chat? Not even difficult. This fight is not fun.
I have returned. Oh, also Rish, I am playing on console. Nope, just the original. GBI, yeah. Kilios, how many bug frags are you at? Oh, did uh, you get it? 120. But oh, I need, yeah. okay. Good job. <laughs> Dude, doing that three times in a row is probably the most mind-numbing thing I've ever had to do. Yeah. No, I'm not using GB, uh, Wii U patch, Kilios. Or, uh, Rish. Why did I put undershirt? It's supposed to be press. Yeah. <laughs> if you're curious about my setup, I, I tweeted it out before we started. Excuse the mess as well, by the way. Where am I even going? This is totally the wrong way. I was going to Proto Man Omega. So the Wii U patch uh, lets you get some chips that you had to trade for with another the other version. Um, yeah. <laughs> I do in fact PvP myself for a Giga. So uh, it's a funny story, Rish. Uh, not a funny story, but I... A thing that I, I may as well talk about is, um... Ah, oh, shoot. Is, uh... I saw a lot of people during BN2 uh, be curious about PvP chips, so I was like, hey, you know, I've done it in the past. I'll do it now. No, I have a good idea. What's your good idea? I'm gonna put Gut Straight R in my uh, my thing. I like using Gut Straights, so if I, I get the PA, then that's cool. If oh, I don't, that's no a good long. point. That's a good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Yeah, there is a single Giga required to open a door in Secret Two to fight Japan Man. Uh, Wii UVC gets it just by opening the network menu. I have to get it some other way. For the door for Japan Man is just any one Giga chip, so it can be base GS, and that's what the Wii UVC uses. Ring ring. Yeah, in, in under two, there's a bug frag uh, merchant who will give you folder back in the blue version, and he gives you Navi Recycle in the white version. I had to think about that for a second. Come on. 
and it's 200 bug frags. So, uh, you know, it's probably on average faster to get that, to be honest. But I also just think the, uh, the PVPing myself is funny. Is it too late? Don't tell me it's too late. Okay, we're good. This is gonna be bad though. So, Kilios, are you going to take advantage of how broken folder back is? Uh, no. Mainly because, uh, you know, it's an extra 200 bug frags, and I already slow. have three giga chips. Like, 200 bug frags? Slow. Yeah, I saw people as well bring up the 11th chip glitch, uh, which... Uh, is, you know, at the end of the day, is just way too slow to use in this run. Because uh, you need to level up custom style, not only once, but... Like, you need to fully up, fully level up custom style. You need to get another style. And then you need to go back to custom style and level that up once, I think. Something like that. I might be wrong. Maybe... No, because it's... Oh, it is plus four. So yeah, that's what you have to do. You need to have Navi uh, customizer or er, er, custom plus six to do the eleventh chip glitch. And we just go a little too fast for that. So yeah, the Cyber Simon says uh, game is not the main way that RTA runners grind for bug frags. It, the reason why Kilios had to do it there is because we're not quite at the part where we want to grind bug frags. It, it, it's not the section where we grind bug frags. It's it's just something to do with getting var swords. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't think we have a command for the 11th chip glitch. It doesn't usually come up in speedrunning just because it's so slow to get set up. My head still hurts from doing Simon Says three times oh, in no. a row. I'm sorry That's, I did that, that was, to you. That was so... Well, it's better in the long run, but yeah. it, it's so, it was so mind-numbing when I got to the third attempt. Yeah. Damn, that fishy really played me. Played me for a fool.
There we go, finally. He popped up and he saw me do the 0 0.81. Oh, dude, that one was so good. I popped off IRL and I was like, oh, I'm muted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the stream and I feel like all my colors look weird. I need to fix that eventually. Yeah, I think uh, it doesn't look off to me in my monitor. But then once, for some reason, I think going into my capture card, uh, they get messed up somehow. What job is that, Claude? What job? What? Is that job 14 that you're just doing? Uh, I don't know. It's job... Somebody please help. Okay, okay, okay. Well, was there an act... act how do you activate that? Is that in principal comp? Yeah, you have to talk to the lady. Oh god, what am I doing? My mind's behind because of the notes. Dude, don't worry about <laughs> me it. Being, me being somewhere else. But yeah, I have to fix my colors at some point. Shoutouts to one of many birds. I'm sure lots of people uh, probably got stuck here back in the day. The colors look terrible. So yes, uh, I think different people have different opinions about how vague this hint was. Uh, but yeah, I, th I am of the opinion that it's like pretty vague. Yeah, I'm playing on DS, Krish. Because previously you'd ha you had to go into that room twice for mandatory story purposes. Or is it three times? I forget. I always forget. Who's next? I will say I'm back into the groove now. My Var Swords really oh, clean. Oh yeah, very good. My mind, it's like everything's waking up now. Four hours into the run? Yeah, four, four hours you. into the run. Everything's waking up. Scene. I think a lot of people never realized it was a cutscene. Slasher's a pretty good chip. It uh I know Terra is a big fan of it. I always find it uh I always find I get it when I don't need it, and when it could be useful, I don't get it if it's in my folder. So it ends up going unused. Let's go to Yai's and just not get Flashman baited.
So yes, here the big important thing is to not get any encounters. Because there's some strong encounters in this area that we just don't want to deal with. Specifically, Flashman Beta. There we go. Yeah, I think I understood that there were some crazy inputs you could do for Varsword, but I never understood Slasher until, like, last year. I and thought I Varsword was just a sword, yeah. yeah. I definitely, even if I did know that you could do some crazy inputs for Varsword, I couldn't pull them off when I was a kid until, like, last year or the year before when I started speedrunning uh, BM3. And we have the... No, this is copy man. <laughs> oh, geez. Good job. My brain just skipped copy man. Ooh, I have an idea. <laughs> it's just like, does Copy Man even really exist? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that goes through. No. That's okay. Invis? Yeah. Oh, you did it. You did uh, Gut Straight. Or Z Straight, rather. Yeah, I figured I might as well do it here. So it's like two yeah. birds, one stone. Yeah, I have some uh, throughout with uh, other viruses as well. Alrighty, so this is the copy man scenario. I might spend a little extra time on this scenario for something that hopefully will save me time later down the line. Unless Kilios just gets first try lucky every time. Which is likely. Nah, if it takes you time, it's just a uh, RNG minute for later. Yeah. I got like the good fight. Oh, I didn't do the sorties. I'm actually so dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and do it, even though this is slow. It's important, you know, it's important. It's true. Do I need to pick up a folder for that? Uh, I do it with N1 folder B. When did you pick that up? Uh, don't, I don't even know, man. <laughs> it's in the it's in the slides. During first ranking fight. Oh, well, I mean, I'm gonna go get it now. I'm pretty sure... I might have just not looked at the slide. Let me go and see. Oh no, give me your folder, please. E, F, G. I know the alphabet, trust me. You cannot get the virus chips from the, uh, the chip traders. You have to get them through the guy that gives them to you.
I don't really want to take my chances and counter Plant Man Alpha since I'm a Lex style. <laughs> kind of scary, kind of spooky, not gonna lie, you know? Oh, what's the worst that can happen? You die? Nonsense. <laughs> yeah, it's easy, guys. Don't worry about it. Is there something going on with the audio? Maybe it's just a little bumpy rumbly. I'm kind of moving my mic around. Sorry, everyone. I'll stop that. Damn, I got the double Brushman uh, fight again. Oh, nice. Too bad I'm in it for it. <laughs> wow. Must be nice. It is nice. How much do I need? I need 80. I need all of them. And then also into damage M and my fourth bar sword. Oh, that's oh I need oh ch 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 ch. I know when to go buy it. Forgot one. Forgot a very important chip. No, I don't know what. This is bad. I didn't see what Bullman version it was. Let's just guess that one. Bowman V4. Arg.
Is it 14? Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> I forgot to write down one slot. Big sad. Pretty sure this is it, though. So he's in the middle left, and it's a cracker. No! I didn't bug sneak run. <laughs> Don't laugh! I'm messing hey, it's this funny. up. No! <laughs> You're making me mess up my life sword input. <laughs> Feels bad, man. And three loves Kilios. That's all I can say. I didn't get it naturally. I lock in me. Oh, see, that's that's money. Yeah, but I didn't use it on anything else. That's true. I'm also skipping bubble, man. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Smog's doing a a setup for Holy Panel R. And it works off of Guts Man. Pretty sure I'm doing this terribly. Rish is right. This is fast, but Smog made bad notes. There it is, everyone. Hey, at least I did it, you know? At least I did it. Easy every time, if you get it first try. 